I'm Bonnie Francis, and we're here with Andrea Lev. Mm -hmm. She's from Bailey Chase, mm -hmm. which is a community that is going to be having a booth out at the Senior Summit. Our Senior Summit is May 20th here in Centerville at the Queen Anne's County 4-H Park. And tell us what you're going to have at your booth that day. What information can people get from you about Bailey Chase? Uh, Bailey Chase is a continuing care life plan community. We're located in Easton. We're on 35 beautiful landscaped acres. Mm -hmm. We have different lifestyles on our community. We have an independent living community, assisted living, and skilled nursing care. We also have a phenomenal uh, memory clinic, the Samuel and Alexia Bratton Memory Clinic, and we can probably talk about all of those today. Okay. Um, let's, our, where do you want to start? Which one do you want to let, tell us let's about Let's start first? with independent living. Okay. Uh, people have the ability to really choose their lifestyle. You know, getting older is inevitable, but right. how you age is really optional. And so Bailey Chase uh, offers that to you, uh, maintenance-free lifestyle to uh, live and, and create your own community. Uh, we have independent living apartment homes, um, villas that go up to 3,300 square feet, but it's really a maintenance-free lifestyle. You no longer worry about shoveling the snow and mowing the grass and uh, even cooking. Uh, we have a beautiful dining venue, so it allows people to really spend time with the people they enjoy, do the things they enjoy, and really be relieved of all of those things that they may be, may be taxed with now. Right. Um, we have a very, very vibrant community, a lot of recreation and engagement opportunities, and really you can choose to do as much or as little um, as you want. What uh, types of activities are? Everything. Uh, we have a very vibrant uh, health and fitness program. We have a brand new uh, fitness center uh, with new equipment. They can choose to do uh, a health program. They can take nature walks. We take trips to Longwood Gardens and, and other venues. Uh, there's games and activities such as bridge and uh, so there's a community room that they come and multiple do those? community rooms okay. we have an auditorium where they will put they can put on music events uh, we have a living room where a lot of intimate games and activities are seen and then just a lot of community within the residents it, it becomes like it becomes your neighborhood right and so those friends are people you spend cocktail hour with and dining with and and uh, do uh, do other activities it's it's a wonderful community so if someone moves there, do, I mean, your independent living means mm -hmm. they they still drive, they can go out and get groceries, it, is it, there? Yes, it know, varies. We have residents that still have their own RVs and they leave for two weeks at a time to visit children out of state. Oh, they okay. Take, they take vacations. Uh, we have some that have their own motorcycles still. Uh, it's a very uh, varied community of, of what folks are looking for. So um, we have, for those people who may not be as mobile in independent living, mm -hmm. we have a jitney that will take them to and from uh, the grocery store, to and from the, the Avalon Theater. They can still continue to live that lifestyle that they choose. Okay. So what are the other entities then after sure. that lifestyle? Sure. We also have assisted living. So for folks who may not be able to live independently in their own homes any longer, mm -hmm. may need some additional assistance with medication management, maybe some uh, assistance with their activities of daily living, may need a m more uh, supportive environment. We have an assisted living that offers that. And within that assisted living, we also have a memory care neighborhood. So for those residents, that may be uh, dealing with a memory disorder, Alzheimer's, dementia, or otherwise, it's an additional layer of a supportive environment to help them and help their families. So does someone come to them then, since it's assisted living, someone would come in and work with them on their memory? It's, it's, an ex it's a complete separate neighborhood. It's, an, oh, okay. it's a neighborhood of an 88 individual apartments where residents can live in their own apartment but still have the supportive uh, atmosphere of staff and, uh, and uh, colleagues being there 24 hours a day. Oh, okay. That's, that's interesting. I've never heard of something like that. It's where they it's fantastic. It's a very supportive environment. Um, and within the assisted living, we have the Samuel and Alexia Memory Clinic. Uh, 
uh, Bailey Chase really looks um, as to be as a resource for folks who may have memory disorders. And so we have a board certified geriatric psychiatrist, Dr. Alan Anderson, who is phenomenal. And so we really are a center of excellence in dealing with memory disorders. So for those uh, people in the community who may have a loved one or themselves may be struggling with a memory uh, issue, the very first step is a, is a very good assessment to make sure that they can be identified really what that individual is dealing with. And so they come into the memory clinic and can see our board certified psychiatrist, the nurse practitioner, our licensed clinical social worker, and really get a good assessment of what's happening. We are also there to help those caregivers of those with memory disorders so that we can provide a supportive environment for them as well. Okay. Yeah, because that can be very taxing on them. Yes. If as things change and progress, right. you know, it, it they're the person that takes the brunt of it. Right, exactly. So. When an individual is someone who's living with dementia, it can be very, very difficult, obviously, for the individual, but that caregiver sometimes becomes at a loss of, mm -hmm. of what to do and isn't really aware of all the resources that are available to them. And so that person can come to the memory clinic on an outpatient basis, okay. but we also offer a short stay assessment where a resident can come and live in the assisted living for about 21 days, get an entire team assessment, a dietitian, recreation and engagement, social work, uh, the, the uh, psychiatrist, the nurses, this team that will surround this family and this individual to really help them find what are the supportive things that they need to continue to live in the community. Right. Yeah. But sometimes that changes and it makes it hard to, you know, figure out what to do. Right, and so that's exactly a short great point. stay yeah. like that would be a, a good way to right. get your, you know, your primary assessment done right. so you know what direction to go. Right. And it's not always about medication, Bonnie. So, right. you know, really it's about, sometimes it's about approach and other tools that we give families and caregivers to really help them live their best life. Well, and how you approach somebody makes a big difference. Absolutely. We, my husband and I do nursing home ministry, mm -hmm. so I know there's one specific lady, you cannot come up to her from the back or right. she'll scream. Absolutely. So I know to come around and face her and, yes. hi, I'm Very here. Good. Yes. You know, it's just that there's techniques that you have to do in order to make things manageable. Absolutely, absolutely. And then our other level of care is our skilled nursing facility, um, which we are actually a five-star uh, facility. Uh, CMS, or the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, rate nursing homes across the country. Okay. Um, five-star being the best. And Bailey Chase's Nursing Center is not only a five-star in overall quality, it's a five-star in every category that lives under that which includes quality measures, staffing, and health inspections. And for somebody like myself, I've been in senior care for 24 years. I am just so proud of this community that can have five stars in every category. It's really a phenomenal accomplishment. Uh, we provide physical, occupational, and speech therapy, mm -hmm. uh, skilled nursing care, as well as long-term care. So for those that may be um, considering a knee replacement, they're able to go to the hospital, get their knee replacement, come to Bailey Chase and receive physical, occupational, and if needed, speech therapy mm -hmm. on an inpatient basis post their surgery. Right. And then once that surgery in, is healed and their rehab is complete, they're able to go back home but come back to Bailey Chase on an outpatient basis with the same therapist to continue their therapy. Uh, but Bailey Chase really uh, is a offers much more than just orthopedic rehab. We can do stroke rehab, cardiac. There's pretty much any diagnosis that you could think of where somebody has had a slight deterioration and may have even required hospitalization that a rehab such as Bailey Chase is a phenomenal option for them. Now is there um, like a resident nursing care like long-term care? Yes. Yes, there is long-term care. We have a long-term care neighborhood as well. And again, those are the folks that may need 24-hour supervision, right. probably more supportive care than the assisted living. Yes. Now, if someone is in, because that's what I'm more familiar with mm -hmm. than dealing with when we do the things we do, 
do they have like activities mm -hmm. and things like that that they're involved with absolutely. like your other? Absolutely. There's a full recreation and engagement team across the campus of Bailey Chase. So every uh, center of living has those available to them. So we have a recreation and engagement for our assisted living, for our independent living, and for our skilled nursing facility. Because we've run into that. I mean, you know, usually if you have a different facility sometimes mm -hmm. they may not be able to offer that type of facility or that type of activity for mm -hmm. them and then it's kind of sad yes. because it's like what do they do all right. day no absolutely Bailey Chase is committed to having everyone have a meaningful living and everyone to having the lifestyle that that they can and so we would make sure that all of our recreation and engagement is available to anyone within our campus right. Right. Absolutely. And sometimes that you, you got to just encourage them. Come on, come on out yes. with us for a little bit. Yes. You know, get out of your room and, yes. and do something. Yes. I think people sometimes have a very um, skewed view, view of really what happens in neighborhoods within a skilled nursing facility. And again, after doing this for so long, uh, because you've been admitted to a skilled nursing facility doesn't mean your life has stopped. Right. It just means that maybe it has to be adapted in a way that you still be able to enjoy the things that you want to, whether that's fishing or going to a baseball game or walking through downtown Easton, perhaps that may be in a wheelchair, perhaps that may be with a rollator, but those things are things that they would enjoy that we're oh, going to yeah. continue to support them in doing. So we'll look forward to people stopping by your booth, yes. getting the information because there's so much out there that people don't know about and, and that's the main thing. Get people to come out, yes. go to the summit, see what's available around here yes. and then, you know, they have choices to make, they'll yes. have the information they need. Uh, don't wait for the summit, certainly. Come to Bailey Chase, take a tour, spend some time on our campus, talk with our marketing folks, come and see me. We'd be happy to show you Bailey Chase. So if someone wants to get in touch with you, um, number or mm -hmm. website, how would they do that? Sure. The phone number specifically for Bailey Chase is 410-822-8888. Uh, or you can go to our website, which is www.integrace.org. Well, we thank you for coming Thanks, out and the Bonnie. information you've given us. It's, you know, hopefully there's someone out there that might have to make some decisions as far as that, and, and they'll look you up. Thanks, great. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. All right.